Right here I'm going to start blending in these chop lines. You can see that this is bare metal here. And there's some body mod lines. So what I'm starting with is just a rusty metal primer by Rust-Oleum. It's brown. Um, this isn't rusty metal obviously, but I like the brown primer because it gives a good base color for when I patina this. So I'm just going to start out. Putting a light coat over this. And you can see there's no Bondo there. Because I know there's somebody that's going to say, oh, you put Bondo on it, didn't you? Nope, no Bondo there. Okay. Okay, now I got most of that covered. And I can start my patina process. There's the finished blend. Trivia. Whoa! What the hell is that? <laughs> Working on Torquey here. Uh, I hate to admit when I make mistakes, but I totally did when I was setting up the steering. Uh, originally, I wanted this pitman arm facing down, so it'd be down here. But then when you turn the steering wheel right, it would turn the front wheel left because I have this pitman arm on the right way now. But if you can imagine, I'm turning the steering wheel right. So if the pitman arm was on the bottom, it would have been pushing the front end. Well, when you push the front end, if you push it, it's on a pendulum right here at the spindle or at the kingpin so it actually turns left so when I turn the wheel right it pushed the wheel and it turned it left I don't know what I was thinking when I set it up but that was kind of a bonehead mistake so right now my solution to that is I just flip the pitman arm so it's straight up and down like that and now you can see that obviously the steering isn't gonna work this linkage rod um, not only if it did work, or if it did work, you'd have a ton of bump steer because it's not parallel to the ground. So what I'm going to have to do is I have some, just some pipe that I had sitting around. A few little pieces, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like an S type section, or like a Z, uh, like what you do kind of on a frame. So I can have as much of this bar parallel as possible, because when this rotates, it'll in turn rotate the high end, if that makes sense and it'll kind of pivot on everything and you won't get bump steer or you won't get very much bump steer. Um, I don't know what I did when I was looking past this. I noticed when I was driving it down to the uh, Isani show or pulling it down that the steering was backwards because I never actually hooked it up. So that was a big boo-boo, uh, really frustrating. So now all I'm gonna do is take uh, some rod ends here. These are, this is a right hand, 5 8 fine, rod end. And then this one here is also a right hand, 5 8 fine, rod end. Now, on the Speedway steering bar that I got, this side is actually left hand, so you can just adjust it like this. Well, when you have an S style bar, it's gonna come like this, 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 you can't actually turn it 
because it's going to hit, or I can't actually turn it because it's going to hit on this stuff over here if I were to turn it to adjust it. So for me and now, since I'm going to have to do two right hand threads on each side, I won't be able to adjust it by simply spinning it. I'll have to actually take this end off, loosen the jam nut, turn this to adjust, and then put it back together. So, um, got these 5 8 nuts that I will weld into my pipes sort of like this, kind of like bungs. Uh, these are easy to find. I wasn't going to pay to have some 5 8 bungs made or order some. I don't have time for that. So I'm doing the resourceful way and I will grind these down so they fit halfway into here so you get penetration inside. And then also I will grind the, or weld the outside so I can round the edge so it doesn't look like it's just a nut. So that's today's project. Fix the steering. Uh, originally I was thinking of doing like a cool setup with this this is actually a spindle off of a lawnmower so the blade mounts to this surface here and this thing spins. Well I was thinking what would be cool is if I left my pitman arm facing down so the way it was and then I would attach the steering to the bottom here from the pitman arm and as it pushes it would pull the top so it would in turn reverse the way it's turning uh, I thought that would be pretty neat and I've never seen that done before. Good use of parts, but um, I wasn't sure if how exactly that would work, so I don't really want to mess with it. Uh, but I thought that would be cool. Maybe next project I'll try something like that. And these are pretty cheap. Uh, this is an old one that's not good anymore, but uh, new ones are like, I don't know, I can get them from my dealer for about 30 bucks, so. And they're made to spin fast, made, made for a lot of side force, and they have a bearing inside here that's greasable. And it's tapped there. It would have been, it would have been ideal, but maybe next time, huh? So I'll fix that, and you're gone. midnight here and I'm getting hungry time for a little snack so a little trick I've learned over the years doing this, this is just some corn off the cob look at this fork you always lose the fork because it's too big usually to fit in a Tupperware bend it easy so we're gonna get some grub on I don't know about you guys but I get crabby when I don't have food in me so gotta always eat and a microwave down here Get back to work on the car right now. I'm working on the steering. Get that turning out. It'll work out. Once I get some chow in me, I'm good for another few hours. Got a fresh cup of coffee. Good to go. <laughs>
too fast wire speed. Turn it down for the next pass. Not too bad, you can see that down in here, a little bit cold down in that bottom left corner, right there, it's a little bit cold. You can see there I had a little bit of movement in my weld when I was welding, which happens. Uh, it'll look better once I brush it clean. Uh -oh. Now I can do this next one here. There's my steering setup, the modified setup. Got those gussets welded in there. Welds are pretty nice for the most part. And then I welded on these 5 8 fine nuts inside here to use as kind of weld nuts, and that's the thread that these go into. And then you got the jam nuts. These are both right handed threads because I couldn't find a left handed weld nut to use. It's got the greaser on this side. Oh, sorry, camera died. <laughs> Since my camera died, I'll start this over for you guys. Kind of show you what I was talking about. Now this is my steering linkage, and you can see that this thing actually rotates about 10 degrees. That is because the heim joint right here and the heim joint up there. Now, when I steer, this actually stays relatively straight, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. But one nice thing about this way this is set up, let me just steer this quick. See, so look, you can see that the tie rod or the steering arm is hit by the tire. Now, when it's hit by the tire, the tire actually pushes it out of the way. So you can maximize the steering, you can maximize the turn. So now I'm maxed out, and there's still a little bit of turn left in that rod, which I thought that was pretty cool. And then it goes back to straight. And as you can see, it'll go through this whole cycle, and it doesn't really rotate out of alignment because the way this is set up, they're pretty much in line with each other the whole way. So that was pretty neat because uh, before my old steering setup came from here and as soon as it hits the bar it can't turn any further so I can actually get a quite a bit more turn out of this current setup. And you can see that I have these um, offset about the distance between the top of the pitman arm and the top of the steering arm right there. So that was about 10 inches so that's what the offset is here. And then I have some quarter inch gussets, gusseting plates welded in on both sides here and it'll be more than strong enough. Uh, then I just have that standard Speedway uh, aluminum connecting tie rod that goes from the bottom that I got on sale for pretty cheap. Now because this bar actually rotates, uh, I don't see a problem with this, but I could theoretically see an issue if the uh, distance between this changes between this little bit of rotation. Um, personally I'm not worried about it and this is about what I had to do, the only way I could do this with this steering box, so that's what that is. Uh, I wouldn't recommend having this set up on your car, but it works for mine, so use your own discretion on that. But I trust it, so. So now I'll send it through the motion of the suspension here, and you can kind of watch how the steering travels with the suspension. And obviously when you lift up the back, it changes the angle also. So I'll lift up the back quick. Uh, 
Lord, down again.